The last section of the seminar is about, uh, the, pos uh, about the possible bearing failures and the ways to prevent them. Mix mixed lubrication with direct metal-to-metal -metal contact between the bearing and crankshaft surfaces is one of the main causes of uh, engine bearing failures. It results in different levels of the bearing wear. It may be only accelerated wear when the bearing is not overheated and only shining appearance on, of the bearing surface is observed. The next level is uh, heavy, heavy wear or wiping which appears in form of signs of overheating and partial melting of overlay. You see it in the left uh, part of the picture. And the third is a severe wear or hot short presented in the right part of the, of the picture. It results in torn surface, heavy overheating and melted overlay and lining material. This slide presents uh, different causes of mixed lubrication and the uh, method of solving the problem. The first cause is insufficient oil supply or uh, other words oil starvation. To solve the problem you should check the oil supply system. Material fatigue also may break the oil film and cause metal to metal contact. If fatigue occurs change the bearing material to a stronger material or solve the overloading problem. The hydrodynamic lubrication may be also disturbed by misalignments such as uh, misalignments and other geometric irregularities such as out of shape grinding or distorted connecting rods etc. The distorted parts should be replaced or ground in this case. Materials with greater margin of conformability like bimetals also help to solve the problem. And the next cause is poor uh, journal surface finish. The crankshaft should be replaced or ground in this case. Foreign particles in, uh, in the oil. The particles origin should be determined and eliminated. More frequent oil and filter changes also solve the problem. The next factor is uh, low viscosity oil which may lose its viscosity because it is diluted with fuel or coolant. Oil dilution should be eliminated or diminished. And uh, also you can use a thicker oil with higher viscosity index. And the uh, grinding defects of the crankshaft such as chatter marks and lobbing. Causing, they cause instability of, of oil film and may, and may result in uh, mixed lubrication. To solve the problem, the crankshaft should be replaced or ground. Of course, the grinding, grinding machine should be checked and fixed. Bearing material fatigue is the second cause of the bearing failure. Fatigue of an aluminum lining is presented in the, in the left picture here. Pieces of aluminum lining flake out from the steel back resulting in immediate engine failure. Fatigue of aluminum is commonly uh, accompanied with uh, an extrusion of lining material. Fatigue of trimetal overlay is shown in this picture. You see the spider wave like cracks on the surface. This type of fatigue is not catastrophic but may cause partial flaking of the overlay and after some time seizure or fatigue of the exposed intermediate layer, copper-based copper, copper intermediate layer. And at last, fatigue of copper-based intermediate layer. You see it in the right picture. It is similar to the fatigue of aluminum lining. The cracks form on the surface, propagate inside, reach the bond line between the steel and the intermediate layer, layer and progress along this line. The material flakes off, causing the immediate engine failure. What causes fatigue? One of the factors causing fatigue is wrong selection of engine bearing.